Welcome back guys to another Assassin's Creed video and this time again with Assassin's Creed Origins because there was the recent patch 1.6 which didn't went so well for the PC players but for all you console players out there I want to give you some really nice tips because if you want to consider to play Assassin's Creed Origins now in 2022 I want to make sure that you don't waste your money on any of that Helix store stuff because especially in this game it is very very easy to get everything in the Helix store for free and you don't have to wait for two years to buy that with some artificial or Richalcom shit. No, you can just get it in game in a matter of hours. When you played both games and especially when you played Assassin's Creed Odyssey before you actually touched Origins, you will realize that these two games are strikingly similar. They even use the same menus, they have the same weapon perks, melee resistance, range resistance, they even have fire arrows, fire swords. All this stuff and all these perks are also existing in Origins already. You even have a similar concept for Ostracars which you can solve in Assassin's Creed Origins. The main differences are that your character is only influenced by the weapons and the perks on these weapons which you actually use. You can use two bows in this game and two melee weapons and one shield. And only the perks on your actually selected weapons, on your selected bow, on your selected melee weapon and on the selected shield, only these will be applied to your character. You have the same number of perks on every item, you have up to two normal perks which can be something like critical chance, critical damage, range resistance, melee resistance and you even have a legendary perk on legendary items. The basic stats in your character are the hidden blade damage, the basic range damage, the basic melee damage and the basic armor can be increased by upgrading parts of your gear with all the materials which are available in this game. These are displayed in the lower part in your inventory. So in general your build will only depend on the weapons you wear. So getting the best weapons in the game is key to getting the strongest possible character. In this game everything revolves around the in-game money, which is the same currency as in Odyssey, which are your drachmes. In order to keep your weapons sharp and pointy and on par with your character's level, you have to go to the blacksmith and pay him money to upgrade your weapons. Luckily you don't have to grind for materials to do that. And money is also the key to get every weapon in this game, including every Helix store weapon. A good source to complete your legendary collection is the Hidden Ones Bureau in Memphis. This bureau has its own fast travel point so it's really easy to travel there every day and check out the new items. However the items there are often very similar and you will rarely see a new one. What the good thing is, here you can also buy an infinite amount of XP by just investing 1000 drachme to get one more level for Bayek. So every money farming method in this game can not only be used to get every weapon in this game, but also to get an infinite amount of XP when you buy this scroll of knowledge. However, the best method by far to get all the elusive Helix Door weapons is to visit Reader. Reader is very similar to Zargon and he is selling you Heka chests. For only 3000 drachme you can purchase a Heka chest. A Heka chest is basically the same as an Olympian gift, but you can buy it with the regular in-game money. So if you find a way to get an insane amount of money, you will be able to get every Helix Door item very easily from Reader. But Rita is actually way better than Zargon because the Heka chests have a drop chance of up to 50% for any legendary item. So every second or every third pull when you buy a Heka chest will be a legendary item. But you can get duplicates. However, that doesn't matter because you can sell your legendary weapons and buy even more Heka chests. So now we know that only the weapons are important in this game and that we can get every weapon in this game, even the Helix Store weapons from purchasing Heka chests from Rita. So how in the world do we get all this money to do so? There are a lot of different methods circling around, but I will show you a method which is just way better than everything else. In older versions of this game, people used to collect lion pelts, hyenas pelts, but collecting these items is not worth anymore, because any video showing any farm method to collect these items is completely outdated and it won't get you much money. So especially videos showing you a lion pelt farm in Kyrenaika in Apollonia, where you just have to kill all these lions in the cages, or even the farm in the desert out post where you can kill all the lions in the desert that is not worth to do anymore. The amount of money you will get from selling lion pets or hyenas pets or any animal things has been drastically reduced by previous patches. What you should do in 2022 to get all the helix store weapons is to farm bandits because every bandit caravan you kill will give you 500 drachme for that. 
This amount depends on your level. It starts at 200 or 250 drachme and it increases by 50 drachme every 10 levels. And this amount is tied to the bandits level, so make sure that you enable level scaling in your game to get the most out of this. If the bandits are on a level higher than level 50, you will get 500 drachme from them. So at max level you will also get the most money from it. To make this method more efficient, of course you could use a level boost when you start your game to actually be able to play the DLC. That way you will start at over level 40, that will give you more money early on when you do the money farm. It is also recommended to play on easy mode as long as you do that so that you are able to one shot all your enemies. I would also recommend to use the Zarissa Spear which is a cursed weapon which has a very long range so you can kill every enemy while still riding on your horse and you don't have to worry about killing them because the Zarissa will deal the double amount of damage because it is a cursed weapon. You also have to get the dawn and dusk ability to switch to night time because the bandits will only take a rest at night. And I would also recommend you to get the auto loot ability because that way you don't have to jump off your horse. You can stay on your horse the whole time and loot everything automatically. The best spot to farm bandits is in Zakara Nome, which is a level 22 region, so make sure that your character is at least around level 20 before you do this. There are two fast travel points where we can do this method and the first one is at the north, south of the Giza pyramids and then the second one is at the southernmost pyramid in the south, there is another spot with a couple of bandits resting there. We will always switch between these two fast travel spots and we will start with the one in the north. So make sure that it is night time, switch to the fast travel point at the north and then use your horse and ride to the south. You can already call your eagle and you will see up to 3 or 4 bandits sitting there. Every single bandit caravan will give you over 500 drachme. You should approach and kill them as quickly as you can. Try to stay on your horse and use your spear to your advantage. After you killed everyone sitting on the fire, call your eagle and have a look if there is any other one approaching nearby. If there is no one approaching, simply go to the fire and kill yourself. Every time you kill yourself, you will make these bandits respawn. But they will not respawn next to you, they will respawn 200 or 300 meters away from you. But they are always coming towards you. So call your eagle and go to every caravan and kill them. After you killed every bandit the second time, go to the fast travel point in the south, use your horse and ride to the second pyramid from the south. There is another resting point for up to 3 bandit camps. Similar to the other spots, the first time you approach them, they will already be sitting on the fire. So make sure to kill them as quickly as you can without dismounting your horse using your spear. The auto loot will greatly help you in this process. After you killed everyone here, go to the fire and kill yourself again. This will also make these bandits respawn. And when you wake up, there will be at least one or two bandits coming towards you, you should kill them as well. When you have done so, fast travel to the other fast travel point again. In the meantime there have been up to 3 or 4 bandits already sitting at the campfire and you only have to go there and kill them again. So don't use only one location, switch between two different locations. The first time they will be always sitting at the fire, so it is much easier and quicker to kill them. The order is always the same. Kill them at the fire, kill yourself, kill them again and then switch the location. Rinse and repeat that as often as you want to, to get enough money to get all the Hika chests you want and all the weapons you want in this game. When you master this method, you should be able to get over 50 or even 70,000 drachmes per hour. I hope you found this helpful, I tried to make this as easy as I could. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.